Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. With the QTV News update, I'm Alex Carey. The police have arrested two men following yesterday's fatal car crash in Downpatrick that claimed the life of a man in his 70s. He was a pedestrian killed at the scene of a crash on the Collard Road at around 20 past four. The men aged 19 and 20 are currently being held by the police. Elsewhere, two men have also been arrested following another death on the road yesterday. 69-year-old Phelim Alexander Brady died in a crash involving a tractor and a lorry just outside Dungannon. It happened shortly before half past ten in the morning. It's believed that he was a passenger in the tractor, which was being driven by a 43-year-old man who has now been arrested. A 50-year-old man who is believed to have been driving the lorry at the time of the accident has also been arrested. Meanwhile, there's been a warning issued over potential energy shortages if work on the north-south electricity interconnector isn't started soon. The Institution of Civil Engineers says that pushing the project back until as far as 2019 could lead to power cuts caused by other shortcomings in the generation of electricity. The PSNI's most senior detective is to join the National Crime Agency. Detective Chief Superintendent Roy McComb will become the agency's deputy director of organised crime. He'll take over the post at the end of summer and he'll be headquartered in London. DCS McComb has spent the last 30 years policing in Northern Ireland and he will be due to retire from the PSNI later this week. Ironically, the National Crime Agency does not actually operate within Northern Ireland. Last year, Sinn Féin and the SDLP blocked the Northern Ireland Assembly's legislation's attempt to give it powers to carry out police operations within Northern Ireland. This led to further criticism from other parties who claimed that Northern Ireland's ability to fight crime had been weakened. And that's the latest. To stay up to date, listen to Q Radio.